natural magic. See me, this will get busy. land bears deep affliction.
What do you see, Sunan? Dog! Because you have drunk the barrel dry? Dad, beer stand. His household is as poorly run as his land. Estrid is a good wife. Far better than he deserves. You would say that, Adrian. Your wife acts like a sow in a skirt. My sweater rider's a worthy woman, you coxcomb. But she's an excellent cook. With a fine nose for truffles. If Birsten does not return soon, wine will not be the only thing spilled upon his floors. Now, gentlemen, everyone is fractious with this waiting. Let us be civil at least. <laughs> Lord. Ah, a heroic-looking Dane in our midst. I'm looking for Pearson, the elderman of the Shire. Our lord is not at home, but his wife is receiving visitors upstairs, in her usual fashion. If you speak with her, pass on that we've run out of ale. Mm. 
It seems Elderman Beerstan has made this ruin his longhouse. You! Guards will come at one cry from me! Sheathe your blade, lady. I'm Eivor of the Raven Clan, here at your husband's request. Another Dane. I am Estrid, wife of the Lord of Essex. As you may have heard, my lord is not at home. If he's away, I'll speak to you. Oh, that you could, Eivor. For I am sure this hall would shake with our merry wit. But your accord must be reached with him. You don't strike me as a meek Saxon wife. Do you yet see an ember of my Frankish fire, Ravenwalker? Perhaps it dances in my eyes? I'm wary of rounding up Saxons. Is your husband stolen, drunk, or wayward? He'll be stalking the woodlands today, hunting game and ignoring the vital affairs of Essex. One such affair is why we called for you. If I can find him, I'll remind him of his duties. Ah, such would be a miracle. His favorite haunt is southwest of here. The lavender fields there attract the prey, God help him. With luck he hasn't been eaten, but I'll return either way. is a godly virtue, Adred. Even the saints would tire of waiting for Beerstan to hang up his bow. Dear Estrid, we must discuss the affairs of this land, with or without him.
This place would have been impressive once, a long time ago. I stand here on behalf of the Lady Elette of Colchester, famed mistress of the flight. Do you seek an audience? I have never heard of her. Based on your appearance, I am thoroughly unsurprised. Nevertheless, do you wish to challenge her? I do. Foolish. Yet to be graced by her presence may balance the pain of the loss you will most assuredly suffer. Lady Elette! You are called to the field of flighting. Ah, oh, a peasant. Come for a sound flighting. Please, place your paltry bet. Take this. Hmm. A pittance. But I accept on the lady's behalf. She will begin. I have heard much about you, and none of it good. You've the softness and brains of a sheep. My verses are known all across this great land. For they put all who hear them to sleep. Not bad. Oh, you think you're so clever, I'm almost impressed that you managed to blurt something out. Yet I worry our skills are too deeply mismatched. Oh, you think you're so clever, I'm almost impressed that you managed to blurt something out. Yet I worry our skills are too deeply mismatched. I'll defeat you and banish all doubt. <laughs> Lucky. I should almost take pity on one so bereft of beauty, of wit, and of skill. But instead, I'll persist till you beg me to stop. Lend a soul, for your words make me ill. Where did you steal that one from? Thus the Lady Alette has been beaten at last, by the one she was foolish to doubt. Now her herald must give me the sum of my bet, while Alette can but stand there and pout. Oh, pay what is due and send this peasant away. I grow weary. Of course, milady. Take your winnings, you have earned them. Thank you.
me never understand for that. Get well, me this Danish man. to you. Today might be your lucky day, Dane. Ah, or look. I know this game well. Come, join me for a game or two. Let's do this, then. You are an eager one. Interesting.
about that. Very good. Sweet victory. No. I played perfectly. Another round? That is enough all luck for now. Not a man or woman born will best me. Who's fool enough to try? You look like a game horn swiller. What say you? Slam it back faster than myself, and you win. Got a wager in you? Put your silver on the barrel. Ha <laughs> ha! For gold and glory! Let's drink! Ha ha ha! Let's drink! Staggering already? Too strong for you. Doctors in Tentationem, said Libera knows a malo. Why are you praying here? We pray for strength to face the one within that cave. A devil in man's form who commands the beasts themselves. Many times we have seen him feeding the wild beasts and speaking with them. Even the wolves do not savage him. Are you sure? You Christians are quick to name devil that which you do not understand. The birds in this wood are restless and swift to attack. Only yesterday, a fox snatched a babe from its crib. 
Have no doubt. He who walks backwards is among us. Either he will come out of there, or we will go in. Have a care, stranger. Do not speak to him. Your immortal soul is in peril. Is this the lair of a man or a beast? You keep company with the bear. Are you as the monk says? The animals be my friends. I hear them, and they hear me. They hurt this one, no, they want to hurt me. But you have said your beasts some people before. Them's that hurt my friends get hurt. But I never hurt no baby. In Kent, I came across a man besieged by the animals of the forest. He was killed by rats in the end. Then he got his chew. He snared a she-wolf for her pelt. She were pregnant. How do you know that? Just know. That's all. You have only been defending those you love. Stay here and tend to your friend. I will see to the monks outside. Don't kill him. Don't want that. Scare him off. It's the animals they fear, remember? him? Or has the devil's tongue swayed you? He be in campo into septimo de luculo electi in erbis fer tempus siponan et bibi aquos Valde in regno de Egypti Faraoni, obsessus cum profeta Mosi imprecari mala magna que fecerat. I do not know if you are what they say you are, but I've seen to your tormentors. As you said, it is the animals they fear. Now they think there are two devils in the woods. <laughs> That'll keep them away. You are beast friend. Eowyn likes you. Bye bye.
Have a look, Sunan. Hunting is a fine sport, but I hope the Elderman has not become the prey. No good comes from a camp this bloody. The remains of the hunting party. This one was savaged by a large animal. Caught off guard as they supped. They were attacked by a beast. Something strong enough to kill a horse. Some large prey left these tracks in the grass. The hunters were prey to a large beast or two. I can only hope that Biestan still lives. Kirsten, ready your weapon, or accept your fate as a feast for bears. my gratitude to stumble upon me in my moment of greatest peril. Perhaps you were God sent. I'm Estrid sent. Your wife and the Thanes of Essex both want your balls on a blacksmith's anvil. When do they not? You could return and report that the savage claw took me. Poor Beerstan, his exit pursued by a bear. And make the beast Lord of Essex in your stead. No doubt my Estrid would prefer his velvet paws to my calloused hands. So, who are you? A sellsword? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan. You hinted at an alliance for the loan of my unique talents. It's blood, yes. Let us return to Colchester at once, and we'll speak more of the delicate matter on my mind. I'm glad you answered my summons. I did not expect such a skilled fighter. It's good I came when I did. We lost many men on this hunt. Good men, all. They will have the proper rights and their families will be cared for. Your people sacrificed much for your sport. They did. There is no balm for my tortured heart. Why did you ask me here? Do you believe in true love, Eivor? I have loved. But have you truly? Has a longing burned in your breast, a sweet, lingering pain, paralyzing you with its sting. There's pain enough in battle. I do not seek it out in love. I long for it. The thrill of a fight softly won. My wife Estrid lacks fire. She is a fish out of water, cold and dead. She showed great passion when I met her, keeping your thanes in check. Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with...
Oh, they love her, it is true. Some with too much devotion. And I have not been a good and attentive husband. I have always been a plucked goose in matters of love, and a piss-poor ruler to boot. Strong must be the hand that steers the ship, Piston. My hand would rather tug the cat gut of a well-crafted bow, my eyes narrowing at the sight of prey. Aye, a crown sits heavy on the head. Then let us run wild and free in the woods as the wolves do. Live on our wits, prowl and stalk and feast. You have a romantic way about you, Biston. Do not fret. My guards will not worry you when we are together. You mismark me if you think I'm capable of worry. Have you built your city in the ruins of another? No, these builders are lost to the annals of time. Far advanced of the Saxon hovels of Wattle and Daub. I have ambition to build a great palace myself, with mosaics and balmy courtyards. What stops you? That which stops all but the most creative minds. Coin, imagination, talent. And your people? Is Essex happy? That is a question I never really ponder. I suppose they are. I hope they are. Alfred believes I rule like a chickless hen, flapping and squawking over nothing but the farmer's dinner. He interferes. No, he disapproves. Is that not infinitely worse? But look, we are nearing my hall. I must face the wolves at my door before we dis...